was smart with my money when I got married and saved some money from my wedding planning. Hi Motherland Moguls, my name is Samuel Eka Ahmed and I'm a medical doctor turned portfolio entrepreneur. When I qualified as a doctor, which I did in Lagos, I moved to Abuja almost immediately after when I got married. And I didn't get a job immediately because I've always been enterprising. Rather than just stay at home, I decided to start my own business and it just grew from there. And I realized that I was actually happier and more I felt more fulfilled being an entrepreneur than being a medical doctor. And I just never looked back. So my dad obviously thought that you know I had a more um, sure um, future being a medical doctor as compared to being a businesswoman. So he pushed me for a while to you know continue in the medical line. But I, like I said, you know things that happened that I just kept me away from it, and I was happier. I was fulfilled being a businesswoman. Some of my friends they didn't understand the transition. It was like leaving sure um, something sure for something not so sure. And I think that just motivated me to work harder. It made me determined to never let anybody have that use against me. Like, why did you leave a career in medicine for something that was so uncertain? So it was a strong, it was, it was challenging, but it was a very, very strong uh, motivating factor. Also, obviously, the, the idea of starting a business from scratch in Nigeria always comes to financial challenges, but I was smart with my money when I got married. I'd saved some money from my wedding planning. I just put all that together and you know before you before I knew it I had a growing business and you know what seemed like a challenge just um, became a beautiful part of my story you know from zero to whatever and I like to tell that part of the story because I tell people that you know what you can start with whatever you have um, people always say oh I want to do this but I can't start I don't have money nobody supports me but I think that if you want it hard enough you can make it work and I think that that's what I've done so my first advice would be you have to strongly believe in yourself because when you start out especially if you're going into a field that is completely novel people will try to discourage you not necessarily because they don't care about you because they're trying to bring you down but because sometimes people care about you too much that they're worried that the path you're treading will not yield the results that you're looking for so they want you to you know go the norm they want you to go the, the path that people have already gone before if you don't strongly believe in yourself those voices will overpower the ones in your head saying that you can do it so that's my first advice my second advice would be seek knowledge a lot of us um, wind entrepreneurship we learned on the job and there's so much um there's so many resources there's so many avenues to learn so keep learning seek as much knowledge about what you're trying to get into there's no i always say there's no point going into a blind when someone can show you the way people have a lot of people have you know gone the path that you're trying to tread so why not um, seek knowledge from those people rather than just trying to go blind so seek knowledge and believe in yourself those are my two great advices for anybody in entrepreneur.